Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for a very special and exciting Oceana Cruises webinar. My name is Anna. I'm an Industry Relations Manager here at CLIA, and I'm going to just quickly go through some housekeeping before introducing our presenter. This webinar will run about 40 minutes with time for questions at the end. Please feel free to type your questions into the questions module of the webinar, and we'll get to them at the conclusion of the presentation. This webinar is being recorded and will be posted on CLIA's YouTube channel, which is CLIA Global. Finally, there will be some interactive polls throughout the webinar, so make sure you look out for those. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce our presenter, Tina White. Tina joined Oceana Cruises at the company's inception in 2003. As Regional Sales and Marketing Director for the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast regions, she's known for her proven sales strategies, ability to build upon her partner relationships, and drive increased sales. More recently, she worked with several national account and key account partners through North America as Director of Strategic Accounts. In her new role as Director of Partner Engagement, she is responsible for overseeing Oceana Cruises partner loyalty programs continuing education platforms, and the management and execution of consumer and travel partner events. She is regarded as an excellent public speaker and brings her passion for the company and travel to life as a spokesperson for Oceana Cruises. And with that, take it away, Tina. <laughs> Anna, well, thanks for the lovely introduction. And first of all, I wanna welcome everybody to our webinar today, um, regardless of where you are. Um, thanks for taking the time out. Um, certainly, it has been um, an interesting year, um, 11, 12 months in our industry. And I really look forward to sharing, you know, what we've learned at Oceana Cruises and really sharing a, a, a path of, of how we want to move forward. And we so appreciate our partnership um, with all of our um, agency advisors out there. So, you know, let's let's look ahead and let's talk about you know, we've not been sitting on our laurels um, these last many months. We have really been staying in communication with our clients. So I wanna share some best practices today. We're gonna talk about inspiration and you know, how do we talk to our clients today, which is very different than how we spoke to them a year ago. Um, I'm sure on everybody's mind are health and safety protocols on board ships. And we have spent a lot of time uh, working on that. And so we're gonna share um, more about our healthy sail panel and what we're doing to protect your guests when we resume sailing again. We're also gonna talk about our flexible policies because we do understand that for clients to commit, even if they're committing to a 2022 or 2023 itinerary, they want flexible travel policies. And so we really have um, spent a lot of time on that. And then we're gonna focus, particularly for those of you who may not be as familiar with the Oceana Cruises brand, we're gonna talk about the pillars of excellence and the fleet, and we're gonna talk about the destinations that we're going to, some of the travel trends and, and hot destinations that we're seeing people aspire to travel when they can cruise again. And then we're gonna end by talking about the Oceana value proposition which I think will really help you to position and to sell um, the product. So going back to inspiration for a moment, um, you know, we never stopped marketing at Oceana and we felt that what we need to do is change our messaging. So we came out with a program or a campaign, I should say, called Remember the Future. And rather than be you know, very tactical or asking for the booking today, this was really designed to inspire both our travel partners and our clients. And it's really resonated well. You know, we've, we've spent these months talking to our past guests and asking, you know, what they want and they want to stay in touch with us. And I truly feel that that is the same situation with um, staying in touch with their travel companies, travel agencies. So one of the things that we um, have learned is there was a study done by the Harvard Business Review and it, it said that there are really four companies four types of companies um, during a recession. And they found that there was one type of company that came out of a recession um, and outperformed all of their peers. And it was a company that focused both on cost savings and investment opportunities, but they really biased towards investment, you know, shrewd investment. So what that tells us is you don't wanna go dark. In Oceana Cruises throughout, we did not stop marketing. We pulled back some, but we continue to invest with our travel partners and in the industry and with our past guests. And so we're front of mind. And in all of our conversations with our past guests, they wanted to hear from us. Even though they weren't booking today, 
they were thinking about travel and their love and passion for travel. Um, and they were making future bookings, or at least they were thinking and planning. And so I really think it's it's super important to think about, you know, how are you changing with the pandemic? Because the other thing um, that we have found and, and have learned is that disruptions like this pandemic really accelerate trends. And think about a year ago and where we've come with everyone is using Zoom and doing virtual conferences. Last week, we did an, a global sales meeting at Oceana Cruises with our um, you know, teammates in Australia and Europe and the United States and Canada. And it was truly remarkable. Um, a year ago, I don't think we would have ever considered doing that. So I hope that all of you are looking at your book of business and how you're approaching your market, how you're talking with your clients. Are you speaking with them? We've had advisors say, well, I, I don't know what to say. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of been in the dark. I haven't been marketing. So I, I hope today we'll give you some thoughts about how we can give you the tools to market, how you can speak to your clients. Um, just to give you a sense at Oceana, uh, we have this at-home social series. So we have engaged our onboard chefs, uh, our, our cruise directors are doing trivia classes, um, Chef Kelly from the Culinary Center is doing uh, favorite recipes. Um, so every week, multiple times a week, we're engaging our past guests and staying in front of them. Uh, and that's been very, very well received. Um, so switching to the next subject is safety. And so health and safety, I think, is, is really paramount in people's minds. Um, and so they want to know when they get back to cruising, you know, are they gonna be safe? So what Oceana Cruises did is we um, partnered with the Healthy Sail Panel, and we actually partnered with Royal Caribbean Group and Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings. So that makes up all of the brands. So for Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings, that's Oceana, Region, and Norwegian Cruise Line, uh, coupled with the Royal Caribbean uh, brand of companies. And um, the Healthy Sail Panel was led by Governor Mike Levitt and Dr. Scott Gottlieb. And these are truly um, professionals. Dr. Scott Gottlieb was the, you know, the head of the FDA. Um, so these are people that are um, quite smart in their field, um, you know, with a whole group of epidemiologists and specialists. And they put up 74 different protocols for us to resume sailing. And we presented this to the CDC. So I will tell you that we have weekly conversations with the CDC in, in how to resume sailing safely. I can also promise you we will not resume until it is completely safe, but we have focused on five specific areas. Um, first, of course, is testing, screening, and exposure reduction, um, sanitation and ventilation. So we've invested millions in our air filtration systems. And what's interesting is post-pandemic, even you know, a year from now, if you know, COVID is, is not um, circulating, these ventilation systems will still be in place on board our ships. And so we think it's, it's you know, Im improvements that we would not have initially done, but I think are a, a great investment in the long-term product at Oceana. Um, the third area is response contingency planning and execution, you know, if there were a, a positive case on board. Also working with all of our ground operators. So all of the ports that we visit around the world, how do we visit that destination, you know, from our ground transportation to the actual shore excursions. And then of course, mitigating the risk for our crew members. And so, you know, we know that once we start sailing that they will absolutely have um, the vaccine. Um, I know some have asked us, will we require our, our passengers to take the vaccine? And, you know, there's some unknown still today, and we have to be really honest and upfront and saying, here's what we know, and here's what we don't know. Um, we are following the scientists and following, you know, the recommendations of Governor Levitt and Dr. Scott Gottlieb in the panel. Um, but we will keep you informed, and I would say, if you want to stay up to date on this, if you go to oceanacruises.com slash health, this is where we post all of our updates about the Healthy Cell Panel. So the next section is about flexibility. And so very early on during the pandemic, we introduced the Traveler's Assurance Program and a best price guarantee. And so simply said, I'll start with best price guarantee. That means if your clients book today and in three weeks from now, Shiana comes out with one of our holiday sales and there's a better price, we will automatically adjust that price for your clients. Um, pretty much no questions asked. 
Um, so that takes away, you know, that hesitation. So I don't want to book a 22 or 23 departure if, you know, the price is going to go down. Um, I will also say that typically Oceana historically has always raised prices. So during the pandemic, we did have a price adjustment and we came down with our pricing but we are seeing trends that there's so much pent up demand that clients are booking the latter part of 21 and 22, and we are just about to launch 2023. So if anything, I would not be surprised in the coming months if you're gonna to start to see price increases again. Um, the Traveler's Assurance Program says that a client can book, and once they make final payment, um, they can change their mind up until 15 days prior to departure and receive a future cruise credit and or a refund. And so it gives them complete flexibility based on whatever is happening in their world. If they're not comfortable traveling, uh, the Traveler's Assurance Program will protect them. So we're trying to take all the obstacles away from, you know, can I plan that future cruise now? So we talked about flexibility, we talked about safety, and we talked about inspiring our, our guests and our clients. So let's switch gears just for a few minutes and talk about the Oceana Cruises brand and really what it represents. And so when we started, and I was really fortunate to have joined the company back from day one when we started back in 2003, we really set out to carve a very new niche in the market called upper premium cruising. And we did that by focusing on three key elements that you see here. And it's that small ship experience. It's our exquisitely crafted cuisine, which has truly been noted as the finest cuisine at sea, no matter what ship out there. And also curated travel experiences, meaning how we explore a destination. So I'm gonna delve into each of these key pillars a little bit um, further as we go along today. But let's go back to what is upper premium cruising, uh, because it's, it's really our sweet spot. And we feel that it bridges the gap between premium cruise lines and luxury cruise lines. And I think particularly right now, we have seen something rather unexpected. We have seen a lot of new to brand customers booking Oceana Cruises in 21 and 22. And we feel that that small ship experience is really resonating with clients during, <clears throat> during this pandemic. So I think that bodes very, very well for Oceana and small ship cruise lines. So when you think about the premium clients, again, what we see is they are looking for a smaller ship experience. They're looking to have more amenities included because they don't want to be nickel and dimed. And they, they love the dining experience where they can pick and choose where they dine, when they dine. They're not being charged for any of our specialty restaurants. Um, and again, the caliber is just exquisite. From the luxury market, we do get clients that are coming to us and typically from the luxury brands, they're choosing Oceana Cruises because of the unique itineraries. Maybe it's the amount of time we're in port or um, the particular ports that we're visiting, or they're looking at the extraordinary value of what Oceana offers them. Um, again, we're about 40% less in cost than what you would experience on a all-inclusive luxury brand. So think about that in the background as I'm talking to today. Again, Oceana is truly that upper cruise experience. And as I already stated, it's all about the size. And so when you think about the cruise ships that are being built today and launched, they're larger and larger and larger. Um, our fleet truly is a, a wonderful size, starting with our regatta class. And regatta class uh, includes regatta, nautica, insignia, and serena. And they're 30,000 tons. Guest to staff ratio is amazing. So for every 1.71 guest, we have one staff member. So it's that high level of personalized service. Um, each of these ships, when they start sailing again, will have been, have been completely re-inspired with over a $100 million investment in the hardware on board. So everything here from the grand staircase that you're looking at with the beautiful Lalique crystal, um, the ships are absolutely exquisite. Um, our Oceana class vessels are Marina and Riviera, and they too are, is what I would consider a much smaller vessel registering at 66,000 tons and a guest to staff ratio of 1.56 guests to every um, staff member. So again, an even higher level of guest to staff ratio than the R class ships. Um, so that, that is the fleet. So there's six ships in the Oceana fleet today. Uh, we are building as we speak, and we actually are proceeding with our plans for our new 
a Laura class that will um, come to, to join fleet in early 2023. But one of the things, and I, and I don't know if anyone here today has sailed, had the chance to sail with us, but the ships are really lovely and they're designed with a very residential style. So from the sofas and the chairs, the furnishings, uh, the beautiful artwork that you see on board is very, very um, specific. And so people come aboard and they say, you know, it's really, it doesn't feel like a hotel or commercial. It feels very residential. In fact, the artwork has been so popular that we have a curate, curated um, artwork tour on board Marina and Riviera. We had so many guests commenting on the beautiful art. There's thousands of pieces, um, you know, from Latin artists to even Picassos on board. And so you can take an audio guided tour to learn about the art. But again, the, the ships truly are exquisite. Um, this is Aquamar Spa and Vitality Center. And uh, we're really proud. Uh, this is an Oceana um, spa. We curate all of the programs. And it's not just about um, you know, getting a massage or going to the beauty salon, but it's also about lifestyle. And so we have all the, the classes on board, the group classes from yoga to Pilates um, are complimentary. Uh, we even do Aquamar wellness tours ashore for clients who want more of a healthy lifestyle. Um, we have juice bars, we have special healthy vegan and vegetarian menus for clients that want to stay healthy while they're traveling. So again, there's so much more that we could speak about in terms of the onboard. Um, but as you'll see at the end of our um, time today, I will lead you to Oceana Cruises University, where you can do much more intensive, or I should say in-depth classes on any of these areas that we're talking about. I do want to touch just about our accommodations because they are beautiful. Um, here we're looking at a variety of accommodations. First, the penthouse suite on board Marina and Riviera. So again, you can see the beautiful furnishings, 420 square feet. You've got a full walk-in closet. The bathrooms have separate tub and shower, beautiful wraparound decks. And any of our suites from penthouse and above include 24-hour complimentary butler service. So that dinette that you see in front of the bed, your butler can actually serve dinner um, they can do a multi-course dinner and serve course by course, and your guests can order from any of the dining rooms on board. So that's really a nice treat for your clients that are looking for some, something special while they're in their, their suite. Um, the concierge level on the R class measures 216 square feet. Um, on the O class, it would be slightly larger. Um, and again, here you're looking at one of the beautiful bathrooms on the O class in a standard veranda accommodation. So, you know, we can talk about the, the hardware of the ships and, and, and the beauty, but I will say that if you ask our past guests, and we have been talking, as I said to them during this entire pandemic, and we asked them recently, you know, what is it you're looking forward to the most when you come back to Oceana? And over and over, they will tell us it's the staff. You know, it's the bartender that we love. It's our, our dining room um, steward. It's the people that they've bonded with. It's our cruise director. It's our onboard ambassadors. Um, because of the size of the ships, it is like an Oceana family. And so, yes, we have beautiful hardware, but it's truly the Oceana staff that I think is one of the key factors that sets the Oceana brand apart. So let's talk about you know, what it means to say you have the finest cuisine at sea, because I've been at many conferences and everyone says, oh, we've got the best food, we've got the greatest food. But I truly think there's three areas that Oceana focuses on and has since day one that has set us apart and it's why we win awards for the culinary experience year in and year out. And so the first element is that we invest more money in the raw food ingredients than any cruise line in the industry. Um, and so everything from procuring the fresh seafood um, to 20, 26 day age prime beef. We even serve Kobe burgers next to the poolside grill. Um, we get the freshest produce. And so it's all about the ingredients. Um, we've been very fortunate to partner with Master Chef Jacques Pepin since the beginning. And if any of you recognize the name Jacques Pepin, he truly is a master chef. And one of the things that Jacques has always said is, you know, if you have a, a lousy tomato, you can't make anything great of it. You have to start with the raw ingredients. So again, Oceana spends more money on the raw ingredients than 
anybody in the industry. You know, it's also about the experience. So the dining rooms are lovely. And remember, there is absolutely no charge to dine in any of the dining rooms. Um, so if it's the grand dining room serving continental cuisine, or it's our red ginger Asian fusion, or Toscana, our Italian eatery, or even one of my favorites is sitting, um, sitting outside and dining al fresco at Terrace Cafe. Um, we give our, our clients many, many options. And I, I wanna just share kind of an interesting statistic that is always kind of stuck in my mind. So I'll use as an example, our Marina and Riviera. We carry um, 1,250 guests on board. And if you can imagine, um, there is 800 staff. We talked a little bit about guest to staff ratios, but of that 50% or 400 of them are dedicated exclusively to the dining experience that your guests have on board the ship. So that's a really interesting statistic to show you how important the culinary experience is to us and that we deliver um, the absolute best experience to our guests. Uh, we also do some really interesting things on board. So for those of you who have clients that are foodies and love the food and wine or champagne experience, on board Marina and Riviera, we have a space called La Reserve. And during the day, we do wine tastings uh, in the space. But in the evenings on um, given nights of the cruise, we have a six course wine pairing dinner. We've partnered with Wine Spectator and it's an absolutely amazing experience. The food is out of this world. Um, and again, every single course is paired with these wonderful wines. And then about a year ago, we partnered with Dom Perignon, and this is an exclusive. The only place you can experience this in the world is on board the Oceana Marina or Riviera. We have a Dom Perignon six course champagne tasting dinner. Um, this is at extra cost. Uh, and that's just because of, of the um, the champagnes and the wines that we're pouring. But our guests absolutely love it. Um, that's reserved to 24 guests in a beautiful space on board. Oceana's also um, been known for the first hands-on cooking schools at sea. So instead of sitting and watching a demonstration, when we built Marina back in 2011, we built the Culinary Center. And we had no idea how popular it would be. It has just um, blossomed, um, but it's a maximum of 24 guests. Um, and you have 12 cooktops, so you pair with someone else. And our teaching chefs on board will teach you, for instance, Greek cuisine, or maybe they'll teach you how to do a, a, a Spanish paella. And so you may even go ashore and do culinary tours in the morning and go to the markets and shop and then come back and prepare like a Moroccan tangine. Uh, so these classes are fabulous. If you go to our website, you'll see the different courses that we offer. We're always updating these. Um, and again, so, so popular on board. One of the other unique things that we do at Oceana is something called our chef market dinners. Uh, we offer about 20 different market experiences around the world, but we are creating more and more. And as we return to service, you will see new countries added but if I can give you an idea or paint the picture, um, up at the Terrace Cafe, which is both indoors and outdoors, we will turn that into a whole themed dinner. So if we're in Greece, the chefs will go to the local fishmonger and you know, bring back shrimp and scallops and sea bream, and, and we'll have um, Greek music and Greek wines and, and Greek small plates, and the whole evening will be themed Greek. Um, our guests absolutely love it. Again, it's more of a casual experience where you can dine indoors or outdoors. And uh, we've had so much response to this that I think you're gonna continue to see this to grow. And you can get more information again on the Oceana website on onboard experiences um, on that site. So I could talk a lot more about the dining experience, but I hope I gave you a little bit more information. Uh, so we talked about the small ship experience. We talked about the finest cuisine at sea. And now I wanna turn to the third pillar which is our curated travel experiences. And I'm gonna showcase some particular destinations today, um, but more than just showing an itinerary, I kind of want you to understand the Oceana mindset of our, who the typical Oceana cruiser is. Um, so we find that there are three types of, again, I would say psychographics of people who like to sail with us. And we've gone to a lot of our past guests and said, you know, what is it when you come back to Oceana Cruises? Because many of them have sailed the Med with us or particular destinations over and over again. So we asked them, you know, what is it that you're looking for? 
And what we found is they want more than just the typical sightseeing because they've probably seen the Vatican or you know the Pisa Tower. So they're looking for more people to people experiences. And so we found three kind of, I would say, buckets. You know, we have the Epicurean Explorer, and they're the folks that want to explore a destination through, you know, their taste buds. They want to go to the local market. They want to, you know, experience the local foods, the culture through the foods. Um, the second is our wellness seeker. And our wellness seekers are those that want a vacation and experience the world, but they want to stay healthy. They want to exercise. They want to go to the gym. They want, you know, the whole Aquamar spa experience, but they want to take that ashore with them too. So they want to kayak and bike and hike and do all those active excursions. And they want to maybe eat healthy um, on their cruise as well. And then our third is the curious adventurer. And the curious adventurer is that person who's you know, well-traveled, they've, they've, they've seen so many sites, but they're curious to learn more. And so I'm gonna illustrate through different tours that we've developed and designed, how we attract and, and really keep these three different groups um, very, very satisfied. But before that, Anna is going to launch a poll for all of you right now. And we're I gonna am launching see. it now. <laughs> Thanks, Anna. So we're just curious. We want to see, you know, which bucket do you fall in? And then I'm going to share with you, I think, I, I'm kind of a little bit of all three, uh, but I, I think if I had to pick one, I, I would probably pick one over the other. So when we close, I'm not going to tell you until after we close the poll. So I'm curious uh, which of the three you fall in. And I think we probably all have a little bit of each. All right, Anna, how are we doing? Are we getting some responses? So we are getting some responses. It looks like um, people are choosing all three, but it looks like <laughs> exploring a new destination I've never traveled to before is the winner for this one. I love it. I love it. So I, okay, so I tend to be the Epicurean explorer. I always go to a destination and I'm like the first to like find the open air market or go into the local, you know, dive into the local cuisine, you know, taste things I've never tasted before. Um, so I love it. Thanks for sharing that. So now let's go in and explore some of the specific itineraries. And Oceana's shortest itinerary is seven days. We have up to 180 days around the world. And believe it or not, this month, we're gonna be launching our 2023 Around the World Voyage. And we fully expect that that will sell out. Um, I am amazed during this pandemic how many people have told us that when they are able to start traveling again, they are not going to hold back. They want to do it all. So it's that exotic destination. You know, at first, many people said, oh, people are going to stay close to home. You know, they're not going to want to venture far. And we're actually seeing the opposite of that. We're seeing exotic voyages. We're seeing our longer grand voyages being booked. Um, so so it's, it's rather interesting. So let's start with the Mediterranean. And this is an itinerary um, in June. Whoops, I, I went up one too fast there. Um, the first thing that I wanna share with you or show you here is the day-by-day -day itinerary, because you'll notice that yeah, many ships are cruising the Mediterranean, but how much time are they giving your clients in port? And with Oceana here, you see many 7 and 8 p.m. departures, but you also see a 10 p.m. departure in Monte Carlo, a 10 p.m. departure in Dubrovnik, an 11 o'clock departure in Copa Slovenia, and then an overnight in Venice. So again, we feel our guests are wanting to immerse. They want more time in port. They want to meet the people. Um, and so every itinerary that we design we keep that in mind, it's so, so important to us. So I wanted to illustrate just an example of a particular tour. This is a Go Local tour, and we have hundreds of these, and the Go Local tours take you beyond the sites, um, so you can meet the local people. And in this particular one, we offer this outside of Rome, as well as in Provence, and we will take you to a local truffle farm. In this case, it's not with the pigs, it's actually with a dog. And the dogs will dig up the truffles. They dig them up very carefully. Somehow they know not to damage them because they're very, very expensive. And um, they'll dig up these truffles and then we will take them and we will have a farm 
dinner sampling the lovely truffles. Um, so it could be truffle pasta, um, truffle pizza. And again, you're getting to know the farmers and you're, you're really connecting. So this is just a sample of one go local tour, but we have bicycling through the countryside outside of Amsterdam. You can become a shepherd for the day in the Basque country. Um, you can learn the French language outside of Bordeaux. So there's so many opportunities to really meet the local people. Um, here's an Eastern Mediterranean cruise departing in September of 2022. This was launched about a month ago with our summer 2022 launch. This is on board the beautiful Nautica. And here again, you've got um, overnights in Haifa uh, for Jerusalem. You also have Ashdod, Jerusalem, and then late departures in Ephesus in Turkey, as well as Syros, um, a 9 p.m. departure out of Athens, and then an overnight in Venice. So again, there are many cruise lines that might do an Eastern Mediterranean cruise, but are they giving your clients this amount of time in port to explore more in depth? And on this particular tour, I wanted to give you an example of one of our wellness tours by Aquamar. Uh, we talked about those, those fitness folks that wanted to stay active on vacation. So here, we'll depart the ship and we'll take a boat to an island called Locrum Island. Uh, and then we will actually practice yoga under an olive grove overlooking the Mediterranean. It's absolutely beautiful setting. Uh, so you'll you'll have your physical activity, you'll you'll do some exploring, and then we come back to the old town of Dubrovnik for a walking tour before getting back to the ship. So then moving on to Ireland, again, I'm just giving you a taste of a few itineraries. This is a bit of one of our shorter cruises. It's only eight days um, and it's round trip Dublin. So kind of a nice itinerary to do an extension in Ireland pre or post. And you've got a late night departure in Cork as well as a late night departure in Belfast, Ireland. So here's this is another example where you know you can cover multiple countries with us or if you really want to focus on a particular region like Ireland or Italy, we offer those more in-depth experiences as well. So this particular tour I particularly love. It's a culinary discovery tour uh, where we actually depart the ship with one of our chefs, our teaching chefs, and we take you to the Bally Malo Cookery School. It's outside of Cork. And this is world renowned. We have very serious students learning the culinary arts here. And we'll, we'll tour the classrooms and the estate. There's over 100 acres of organic gardens. They've got sheep and, and cattle. Um, and we'll have an opportunity to experience lunch at this uh, renowned cooking school. In fact, our, our own chef, um, Jacques Pepin, is friends with the owner here. And so it's sort of a nice relationship we have. And, and I think that's part of the reason that we have access uh, to this wonderful cookery school. And then moving a little bit closer to home, Oceana does cruise Alaska on board Regatta. And Regatta is one of our 30,000 ton, 684 guest ships. So to me, it's a perfect size ship for cruising the inside passage. You know, imagine when you're coming into places like Ketchikan and Juneau, how easily you can disembark the ship and get on board again. Um, it's a lovely itinerary with a late night departure in Juneau as well as in Victoria. Um, this is only one of many different Alaskan cruise itineraries that we offer, um, anywhere from seven days on up, but again, a very popular itinerary for Oceana. And I wanted to share an example of an evening excursion with us because when we have these late night departures, we've created um, evening tours. And this particular one goes to behind the scenes of a local. So we go to, a, in this case, a local cooking class and we learn how to make um, local ingredients. It might be you know, fresh salmon or crab or halibut um, with some of the local ingredients. And then after cooking and experiencing and tasting, uh, we will go to one of the local microbrews and do a flight of beer tasting before coming back to the ship. So again, with so many tours, over 3,000, I could only kind of give you a taste. But I think what's important to note is that we're giving your clients more than the typical sightseeing, from culinary tours, go local tours, wellness tours, um, private tours. Uh, we really offer everything under the sun and are continually expanding um, this for our repeat guests particularly. The other thing I want you to keep in mind is particularly on our exotic itineraries, you can extend your client's cruise vacation with us pre and post cruise. 
and also during a voyage. So there are many times where we might be in Asia and we're calling on Cambodia and we'll have two or three days in a port. Your clients can disembark the ship and take a fully escorted tour with us, for instance, to go visit the, the ruins of Angkor Wat and then come back and rejoin the ship and continue their cruise. Um, so we can handle it all for you. And these pre, post, and overland tours are posted on the Oceana Cruises website. So I wanna um, finish the last section today talking about the value proposition and how we can partner with you and move forward together <clears throat> during and post this pandemic, from how we speak to our clients to what the how you present the value of Oceana Cruises. So let's look at the everyday inclusions to begin with. So I, I often say, yes, initially our price might look slightly higher than the premium cruise lines, but when you consider everything that's included from unlimited internet in your stateroom, no fees to dine in any of our specialty restaurants, complimentary room service, by the way, which is being expanded as we speak. Uh, we are including many new menu items and hot breakfast included on every single ship in every single category. So when we return to service, we've tried to look at everything and say, how can we even make our product better than it was? Um, complimentary shuttles from the city center to, to the port of call. So if you're five miles from the city center, you don't have to worry about do I need to get a taxi? Do I need to pay for transportation? All the fitness classes are complimentary. Our still and sparkling Vero water, which is replenished on board and for when your clients go ashore, complimentary. Soft drinks, specialty coffees, and free laundry. In addition to that, Oceana offers a program called O Life Choice. And O Life Choice is truly what we call inclusive by choice. So instead of building in everything, and charging your clients for alcohol or charging them for um, every amenity, we like to give them choices. So Olive Choice bundles in free round trip air from about 26 gateways across the US. And then we give your clients the ability to choose if they prefer free shore excursions, a free alcoholic beverage package, or a free shipboard credit. And the value of that will depend on the length of the cruise. And you'll see that outlined in detail, both on our website, as well as in our brochures. In addition to that, we have now begun to include free airport transfers with the beginning of our winter uh, 21 into 22 season and beyond. So that is quite a, a, a nice added value. And then um, again, it includes all the amenities that we already spoke about. So again, think of all life choice. It gives your clients the ability to sort of customize the amenities that work for them. On top of that, I would imagine that almost everybody on the call today, regardless if you are working from a brick and mortar office, a home-based office, or affiliated with a host agency, that your agency belongs to a consortium partnership. And through our consortiums, we have value added amenities on select departure dates, typically free prepaid gratuities. So I highly encourage you to um, make sure that you're aware what are those departures with value added amenities and you go to those departures first when you're talking about our value proposition because if you're on a 10-day cruise and you can offer your clients free gratuities on top of Olive Choice, on top of all the other amenities we just spoke about, it's going to make your, um, your proposition to your clients that much more attractive to them. The other thing to keep in mind is, is to just know sort of our marketing cadence and, and you know what we have coming up and piggyback that. All of the things I'm gonna be showing you right now are included on our marketing portal. So we've created very turnkey materials for you, but just right now in the marketplace, we have a 10% savings for our past guests on select departures. For your single travelers out there, we have reduced single supplements, again, not on every departure, but on a select departure dates. And if we have any of our agency partners uh, joining us today from Canada, or you have clients that reside in Canada, we have Canadian resident rates, which offer a very nice savings of up to 10%. So promotions to be uh, familiar with, again, they can all be found on our marketing portal. The other thing I would encourage you to be in touch with as you become an Oceana specialist is know about what's coming up in the next month, two months, three months at Oceana. So this month, we're launching our 2023 Around the World Cruise, 180 days. I mentioned that a little earlier. 
Uh, we are going to be coming out in February, in early February, with our President's Day sale. And that is very time limited. Um, when you see these holiday sales, they aren't combinable with everything else, uh, but they do combine with O Life Choice. And this is a great tactical promotion, and it might be a time to reach out if you know that someone is looking for an extra special value. Um, you know, we started this, the first holiday sale day sale during the pandemic was last May, and it was Memorial Day, I believe. And we were a little hesitant because we didn't know, you know, it was the very beginning of the pandemic. And we said, well, we're still just going to put it out and just kind of see what happens. We broke all booking records and it astounded us. And we followed that up with July 4th sale and Labor Day sale and Thanksgiving and end of year sale. And every time we have launched one of these holiday sales, we have been amazed at the booking activity. So you know, it, it tells us that clients have pent up demand. They want to travel again and they know, uh, you know, planning ahead that it's going to be safe to do so. So, you know, I would tease it out there. Um, you, you might be surprised. And then in March, we are going to be launching, believe it or not, our winter collection, which en encompasses from November through spring of 2022 into 2023. So we've got a lot of things happening. Um, I would say all these pieces are available to you on the marketing portal at oceanacruises.com. Uh, we do want to make sure that you web register on our website. Um, so for instance, we have PDF flyers where you can customize it with your agency name and contact information. If you're doing things on social media, we have social media content, we have banner ads, we have HTML templates. Again, these are all turnkey tools for you. And with that, I think Anna is going to um, post another poll for us. Just kind of want to get a sense from you all. What what do you use the most? Um, you know, what can we provide you in the marketing tools section that is most relevant today for you to use? Is it an electronic brochure? Since we're typically all working from home, you know, are we still using printed brochures, or would you rather have e-magazines, electronic brochures you can send your clients? Is it a PDF flyer? Is it is it social media content? Um, again, we want to know what's most useful to all of you. So we'll just give the poll a minute so Anna can collect some results and, and see what everybody's thinking about. And we are getting a lot of responses. It looks like PDF flyers and electronic brochures are in the lead right now for what people use most. Good, good. I like to hear that because that's something we've had for some time. And, and you're going to start to see more electronic brochures, what we call as e-mags. Um, so, so look for that. The PDF flyers that we have, you know, if you're promoting a group and you want to just promote one departure, we have flyers that'll promote one itinerary. Or if you say, no, I just want to promote more FIT bookings. I want a selection. I want to go in and pull my consortium amenity dates and promote free gratuities. So I think I'm going to pull four or six itineraries. This site allows you to do that. So it's really turnkey. And again, our sales team is available to work with you and, and help you through the process if you're doing it for the first time. So glad to get that feedback. Um, there are some steps we would love to ask you to take next because we can only do so much in 30, 45 minutes. Um, we have created an Oceana Insider Facebook page. This is designed just for our travel partners. Uh, so we highly encourage you join our Facebook page at Oceana Insider. Uh, we are updating that several times a week. It's a great way for us to stay engaged with you. Uh, we also have Oceana Cruises University. And so if you've done the university previously and it's been a while, I encourage you to come back because we've revamped the program. <clears throat> we are going to be launching new modules on the university. And so we have the core programs, we have elective programs, and we will be posting even graduate programs as time goes on. Uh, I am going to be posting a brand new Around the World 2023 module um, in the next probably 10 days. And every time you complete a section, um, of courses, you will earn a $250 bonus commission, and you will also earn badges of certification, and you can use those badges for your promotion if it's your email signature on your websites and in communicating with clients. And then lastly, 
one of the things that we have also learned that during this pandemic is just what we're doing now. We're, we're connecting on, I don't, don't remember which platform, I think we're on GoToWebinar right now. But at Oceana, we have invested in new technology, not only Zoom, but some pretty sophisticated platforms that we're gonna be rolling out in the next month or two, where we can interact with you as an agency partner, along with your clients, in either a pre-recorded um, virtual event. So think of like, take the traditional cruise night and take it virtual, where we can share video, we can share interviews, we can be interactive, we can monitor chat, we can offer show exclusives, and we can do this nationally, we can do it locally, um, but you're gonna see our sales team um, doing quite a bit of this in the coming months. Uh, we've already done some very successfully, and so we hope that you'll reach out to our team and ask some more questions, like tell me more about this these webcasts and these virtual events that you're doing. And is that a possibility that you can do that with, with my agency or with my clientele? So again, um, I really wanna thank all of you for joining us today. Um, we have an amazing team of, of sales directors. So we have directors of sales throughout North America and Canada, as well as a team of business development managers. So our director of sales work with a set number of um, producing agencies, and then we have business development managers that pretty much do the same thing but have a bigger book of business of advisors, and then they are both supported by our sales development specialist. Um, and so if you are not sure who your salesperson is, I would highly recommend just reaching out to our sales resource center. You can do that at the 800 number that you see here and press option six, and we will gladly direct you to your director of sales or your business development manager. Um, we also have an entire sales engagement team that will help you put on events and, con and continuing education. So I just want to say, um, again, thank you. We know it has been a very challenging and difficult year. I don't think any of us have ever experienced what we've just gone through in our industry. So I want you to know that you know we're, we're standing by your side. Um, we are here to help you um, stay healthy, stay positive, stay strong. And uh, we hope to continue engaging with you. I'm gonna turn it back over to Anna for any Q&A that we might have. Thank you so much. We do have some questions coming in. Our first one is from Daisy, who is wondering how many times can a client do a different price change? Um, we, it's not restrictive. So let's say the price changed two times or three times from the time they booked. Like we came out with that President's Day sale and it applied to their sailing, um, they could absolutely change it. So we haven't said they can only change it once or twice. Okay, great. Our next question is from Stephen, who is wondering where agents can find pricing information on wine tasting, cooking classes, things like that. Absolutely. So if you go to oceanacruises.com and I would go in through the travel advisor site. So if you're not registered, register with your agency information. And then you will find um, like onboard experiences on board the ships and explore there. And we have sample classes and all that information on the site. Okay, perfect. Eric is wondering if you have any insight or updates on Alaska this year. Mm, so for 2021, I wish I could say yes. One of the things that I've had to learn during this pandemic is, is patience in terms of ever changing <laughs> regulations. Yes. Um, you know, right now we are paused through March of the, March 31st. I wish I could say we had the answers. Um, you know, we are in very close contact with the CDC. Um, we also have to look at government, different countries and borders and are they going to open um so eric i don't have the answer today we're very hopeful that we can be sailing as soon as this summer um but i can't say with a hundred percent certainty as we you know really follow the science and we follow um our healthy cell panel experts um their guidance and 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 borders so we are working towards that but don't have the final answer right now Yes, yeah, that makes sense. Our next question is from Susie, who is wondering if you could elaborate on the free laundry. Is there a machine in every room? Do clients have to pay mm. for soap? 
Um, no, the free the free laundry is on multiple decks, so it's it's not in every stateroom. And on the deck plan, and I forgive me, is it Susie for not knowing the exact number of laundrette rooms that are positioned on the various decks? But your clients can go there, and that that service is complimentary. There's also um, service where you can give it to your room steward. And that you would pay for unless you're in concierge and above, then it's one of the added amenities for concierge and above. You're allowed, I think, 60 pieces of complimentary laundry that they will, you know, pick up from your stateroom, take and do and deliver back to your stateroom. Oh, perfect. How easy. <laughs> yes. Our, I wish I had that at home. <laughs> <laughs> right? Me too. <laughs> Our next question is from Naki, who is wondering if Oceana Insider is a page or a group on Facebook. Um, it's a it, it's your own uh, Oceana Insider page. Okay, perfect. And we just have a few more questions. This one is from Susie, who is wondering how long the holiday sales that you mentioned, how long do those last? Typically, they last approximately two weeks. Um, up to three and i don't know how long the upcoming president's day sale will last but i'd say anywhere from two to three weeks during the pandemic pre-pandemic i would say they could have been as short as seven days so they're very tactical um in in the offer and in the time frame okay perfect and our last question is about groups. Do you have any insight that you can provide about groups, um, the sizes and everything? Absolutely. And so, um, Anna, if there's anything that I can forward to you after the session, uh, we have a group uh, affinity selling guide uh, that is many pages that talks about the types of groups and all of our group policies. But an affinity group is a minimum of eight state rooms. Uh, you're able to hold space without a deposit. Uh, we do require, you know, active promotion of the space, and then we have value-added amenities. Uh, based on the departure date you choose, our director of sales or BDM can guide you and say, okay, these are our amenity selections. How do we customize this for your group? Uh, a tour conductor is typically earned at one for every 16 paid, but again, based on the length of the cruise, that could vary as well. So we absolutely love groups at Oceana and can uh, help you select and promote group space. Okay, perfect. And we do just have one last question that slid in from Samantha, who is wondering if there is a fee for flyers for social media. Absolutely not. All of those pieces that you see on the marketing portal that I shared are complimentary to you. So you can go in and customize it, upload your logo, and download it. Now, if you wanted to print like PDF flyers, you could do that locally, or you could even have us print them. And, and for printing, there would be a, a cost. Uh, but certainly customizing and downloading the flyer or the template, no cost at all. Okay, perfect. And those are all of our questions. So thank you so much, Tina, for all of that information. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. Anna, thank you. Uh, stay well, everybody. We look forward to uh, a brighter Later 21. Yes, thank you so much. Bye, everyone.